Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate your Azure Active Directory with your on-premises Active Directory environment. So let's say you um, you are working with uh, you have an Office 365 tenant and you want to make sure that all your devices, users, group, and security group actually uh, sync to your cloud-based management system. So you will need to actually download and install your Active Directory um, at the Connect. So what we need to do first of all is to log into our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And here we need to click the show all. So we need to scroll down and go to Azure. Just click on the Azure Active Directory, which will take you to my dashboard of to, to, to your dashboard of Azure Active Directory Admin Center. So here we have the option which, which says sync with Windows Server Active Directory. So you're going to sync with your local, with your on-premises Active Directory. So what we need to do is to click the sync users and group for your on-premises. And here we have a software which is called, it's a very little software, it's called the, um, the Azure AD Connect, which you are going to download and install it on your server. So I'm going to download this software. So it will take you to the uh, Microsoft site, which you need to download the software. So here we need to as well as we're going to download the English version. You can see here we have the details. The file size is about 104 megabytes and we have the system requirements. You can see we have Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, 2016 or Windows Server 2019. So I'm using the Windows Server 2019. So I'm just going to click the download and I'm going to save this file. So after this file has been downloaded, I'm going to install it in my Windows Server. So after downloading um, Azure AD Connect, so you need to just double click on it and make sure you have the right privilege to install applications on that server. So we just need to see actually the installation is a next, it's a, um, next, next, next um, installation process. So accept the default um, user account control and just click yes. So the software is being installed right now. So let's accept and click yes. So you can see that the installation itself doesn't take time, but the real configuration takes place in the next step we are going to do. So I'm going to pause this video and actually create a second video, which I'll show you how to configure Azure Active Directory, uh, Azure AD Connect on this device to link to your Office 365 tenant. So please go to the next video and continue to watch how to configure this, uh, to configure Azure AD Connect. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. Just click the next um, video, the part two of this video, so you can continue to watch how to configure the Azure AD Connect.